Chapter 31, we finally get to Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, probably the most recognizable name in classical music other than Beethoven. Mozart was easily the most gifted composer of almost all time, um, definitely during the classical era. Uh, he was labeled a Wunderkind. In German, that means wonder kid or prodigy. Um, let's just talk about how much of a genius this guy was. He really was like the Einstein of the classical era. So Mozart, by the time he was very, very little, uh, he began playing the harpsichord, right? And his dad was like, oh man, he's really good. His dad, Leopold, was also an accomplished uh, court violinist. So he played violin um, in an orchestra for a fancy uh, court orchestra, maybe one that Haydn um, conducted. So he was good enough to recognize that his son was very, very gifted. Um, and so he took him on the road. He started training him. He trained him on the harpsichord, on the violin. Um, and he took him on the road across Europe. Mozart, at the age of five, played for the Pope. The Pope, right? He played for all these kings, queens, bishops, you name it, he played for them. And they made a lot of money. Uh, in a lot of ways... Mozart's dad kind of exploited his son's greatness, um, but he didn't oversell him. And that's the point here. Mozart was a true genius. At the age of five, he wrote his first piano concerto. At the age of eight, he wrote his first symphony. And at the age of 12 or 13, he wrote his first full-length opera. This kid, and I really mean kid, was a gifted composer. Maybe one of the most like I've said, maybe the most gifted composer, just raw talent-wise, of anyone in history. Let me tell you what else he could do. He could sit down and write out an entire piece from memory. One of his trips across Europe, he went to the Sistine Chapel and he heard a very special, a sacred piece of music. It's the Miserere uh, by uh, Grigori, right? And um, it's a very famous piece. It was never played outside of one particular uh, service, one particular day in um, that chapel, the Sistine Chapel, um, and no one was allowed to write it down. People kept it only by memory. Well, Mozart visited, saw this service, heard this piece of music, was so moved at like seven that he remembered it. Two and a half months later, when he gets back to Salzburg, where he lives in Austria, he writes the whole thing down, note for note, no mistakes. Think about that. That's like listening to this video, right? And two or three months from now, being able to remember every single word I've said and every little hiccup and every little head bobble and what I'm wearing and what's behind me. You have to remember everything three months from now. You're not going to remember three seconds from the time you stop watching. That's the kind of genius that Mozart was. And this continued into his adult life. He would finish an entire opera in his head. And then he'd just have to take the time to write it down. And he never made a mistake. He never wrote a wrong note. He never messed up with his quill. That's another level of crazy in terms of genius. right? So in this piece, Eine kleine Nachtmusik, you really get a sense of Mozart's kind of best skill, which is writing a tune. He was a tunesmith. Man, he could write, as my college buddy would call it, a hummable tune, also known as a bankable tune. This is one of Mozart's most famous pieces. It's been played millions upon millions of times, myself as a violinist. I hate hearing it, honestly, because I've played it easily two or three hundred times at weddings. It's incredibly popular. But I gotta say, even though I don't want to hear the piece again... I love playing it. It's just so much fun. It's so elegant. It's got such a great little rocket theme, little melody. And I kind of feel fancy. I feel like I'm at a fancy party listening to this music, which is what it was written for. It was written for a dinner party, an outdoor dinner party. And thus the title is not very clever. It might be the most boring title that Mozart's ever given a piece of music, A Little Night Music. Hope you enjoy it.